going over the different credential types today. First, we're going to cover the EVM address. A EVM address is also known as a Ethereum virtual machine address. An example of this would be your network address on the Ethereum network or your network address on the Binance Smart Chain network. Let's move on forward. After you have checked in to create an EVM address credential, you'll see we have the title, credential source, and credential holders. I've written an example in the title. Normally, this will remain blank. You'll want this to be easily identifiable by anyone that wants to understand the credential. Next, we have the credential source. We have a few options such as Snapshot, Subgraph, or Google Sheet. First, covering Snapshot, this is a batch list of user addresses. This can be updated via CSV file or via API. If you'd like to update via API, please follow the hyperlink right here. Here is an example of a CSV file. After you have selected the snapshot credential source, you'll head down to the credential holders. This is where you will put in the eligible users who have completed the respective task and earned the credential title. After selecting snapshot, you'll head down to the credential holders section. You'll need to click on the select file button and make sure that you upload a file in CSV format. Here's an example of us uploading a CSV file. You can see here that we had a duplicate line, but the address has been read successfully. Our system automatically removed the duplicates for you, but you can also check and re-upload with the correct addresses once again. Just click that you understand, and you can see that we have uploaded the file right here. Covering the subgraph credential, this applies to on-chain credentials. We will update the holder list from the graph.com to the endpoint query and expression information that you specify. Below the subgraph option is a hyperlink that will bring you to a page that tells you exactly how to set up a subgraph credential through the dashboard. Heading back to the page, you'll see the place to input queries. The place to query, this is used to check whether or not an address is eligible for a credential. Below that is the expression area. This section should include the JavaScript code used to convert the above query result into a 01 output with 0 as the non-eligible queried address and 1 as the eligible credential. Please follow along with the guide if you're not familiar with these terms, and it will help walk you through the process. Covering the credential source for Google Sheets, this is a holder list that will be automatically updated every 12 hours. You can also update it manually using the update button below. Here is an example of a Google Sheet. As you can see on the Google Sheet, we have the URL link above and the two addresses that will be updated. Another important piece to know is that you will need to add spreadsheetappgalaxy.com as a viewer on your Google Sheet. Next, you will paste the link to the Google Sheet, the URL, and then click Sync. This will be done every 12 hours or at the use of the Sync button right here. In the creation of any credential alongside the credential type and the title will also have the description and the reference link. The description is a description of the required task to earn the credential title. This should be very specific, detailed, and easily understandable by anyone. The reference link is any link that you would like to include in reference to your credential. After you have decided on the title, credential source, credential holders, description, and reference link, what you'll need to do is head over to the bottom right, click on the large blue create button, sign the transaction in the top right, and you'll be completely finished. This has been a tutorial on creating an EVM credential. Thank you, and see you next time.